Now that we've learned about master pages, let's actually use some master pages. So I've created a new InDesign document. It has eight pages and I've opened up the pages panel. It doesn't matter what the specifications for the project are as long as you have a multiple page document. If you'd like to follow along with mine, I've created an eight page document. Each page is eight and a half by 11. It has standard um, printing bleeds, which are 1 8 of an inch, 0.125 inches, and it has 0.125 inch margins on each page. Um, what I want to point out though is how to identify master page versus non-master page items or elements within your design. And so if you double click and go, let's say to page one, and you start editing on your project, and we'll make circles so it matches my examples in the slideshow, and you decide that you want to have some sort of repeating element that repeats on every page for whatever reason you have determined. You could select this and choose edit copy or command or control C and you can go to the next page and you can choose edit paste in place. Notice how because I was on a right hand side page and I chose to paste in place I had to paste in place on another right hand side page. So if I wanted to put this on the other side I had to make a copy. I'm going to use the command or I'm sorry the option um, and drag key command or keyboard shortcut and if you're on a PC, I believe that would be an alt drag. And you could manually move this. I'm going to copy both of them now. Go to pages four and five and choose edit, paste, in place. Let's try that again. There we go. I think I pasted these over top of existing ones. And then you could go down and you could do this from page to page, edit, paste, in place over and over again until you get to the end of your document. It doesn't make sense though if the item that you want to repeat repeats in exactly the same way. These circles are all the same size, they're in the same XY location on the page, they're the same color, etc. And so a better option for this would be to put it on the master page. So I'm going to undo Command or Control Z until I get back to just a circle. And then I'm going to cut the circle, so Command X or control X or if you like to use the menus you can do edit and then cut and instead of putting it on the actual page if you double click on your master page and by default every document will have a two page a master you can paste it on your master page and you can place it in the location that you want it to be now this is important to note. So because I have a two page master, all of the right hand side pages represent the right hand side pages within my document. And if I was to click and drag and make a copy of this and maybe put it in the bottom corner, let's change the color so it appears to be different. Everything on the right hand side page would repeat on the right hand side pages and everything on the left hand side page would repeat on the left hand side page. But a major benefit to this is that if I decide to change the shape, or I change the color, maybe I want red instead of blue. If I change it on the master page, it will affect all the instances in your actual document. So in this example, I've changed the circle on the right hand side page to be red, and then all of the circles that are appearing on the right hand side page in the document are now red. You don't always need a two page master, however, if I really wanted to repeat this red circle in exactly the same place on both pages, I guess I could just copy and paste it over to the left hand side of my master page, or better yet, if you right click on a master, or if you select a master and hit the option flyout menu, you can choose master options for a master, which is the one we're editing and a dialog box will appear and you can change the name. So you could say this is my first master page and it's going to be my logo master page. I'm going to leave it as a master for now. You can also decide that it should be a one page or a 47 page master page. And then you can select OK. And because of that I now have a one page master and if I paste my circle back in, let's make it red again, Now because I have a one page master, single master pages apply to all pages, right and left hand pages within the document. So if I decide that this circle should be in the bottom right hand corner, and I move it on the master page, it'll apply to all the pages in the document. If the logo is too big and you want it to be much smaller, you can make it smaller and put it in the bottom right hand corner. If you wanted to replace it and, and make another um, logo or place a file instead, you can do that as well. And because it's on a master page, it will repeat everywhere 
that that master page has been applied.